Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your Hacktrepreneur, um, and today's video is going to be a little different. I feel a little uncomfortable even making it and posting it, to be honest, uh, but I'm just trying to do something right now, I guess, I don't know, but you may notice the awkward position I'm sitting in, I'm actually laying down in my bed. And, uh, there's a reason for that. Um, uh, personal confession time, um, I suffer from serious depression. I mean, I, it's just something I've always suffered through. I'm always trying to work on it, but there are times, especially when real life hits, where Like I said, I'm just trying to do something. I'm trying to stay active to keep my mind from racing, having these bad, bad thoughts. And, uh, well, one of the things, I did actually force myself out of bed and did a little bit of Ubering yesterday and a little bit of DoorDash today. Um, and for those who might suffer from depression and Still need to get out and, you know, pay the bills, I suppose. I guess the question might actually arise. What service do I do if I'm depressed? Um, well, folks, uh, the obvious answer to that question is you should probably not do either of them if you can help it. If you can afford it, take the time off, get some help. I am seeking help for the record. Ugh. Boy, you have no idea how hard it is to make this video right now. <laughs> I just want to curl up and cry. But it's not that's not healthy. So I, I am taking medication. I am seeing a doctor. It, but And I recommend you do that and you just don't do either of the services if you can help it. But then sometimes you're in my situation where it's like, you know what, you just you just need to plow through, you need to make that money, it's one of those adult decisions you gotta make, and, um, so, uh, here's my thoughts after doing this for two days, um, both have their pros and cons, um, first thing you gotta do is, regardless of what you're doing, drive a little slower, because your, um, attention is compromised, again, it'd be ideal if you just didn't do anything at all, but, Sometimes you just gotta go out. Uh, so pay attention, be compromised. Um, the advantages to doing Uber is that you can talk to people, and it doesn't even have to be about your problems. It can just be about anything. And sometimes talking to people can get your mind off things, help you a little bit. Um, the bad thing with Uber is that you gotta talk to people, and some of those people are not very Here's the thing. If you have an irate customer, it can be hard, or an irate writer. It can be difficult to deal with them when you're feeling 100% capable of dealing with them. When you're depressed, it can be really hard. So, you really take a chance. Um, you could also do DoorDash, Postmates, Caviar, a food delivery service. That's the other option. That's probably the... Sorry, I'm... Oh, I'm suffering so much right now. That's slightly preferable because you're largely not talking to anyone. The food doesn't talk back. The disadvantage is if the restaurant it doesn't have their act together or if you have to find an apartment complex, that can definitely affect um that can affect your performance. Um, yeah, so I don't recommend either one if you can help it. If you have to do them, I guess I would lean towards a food service for the reason that the food doesn't talk back here. Again, if you're doing Uber or Lyft and you get an irate rider, you're not one at 100% 
ready, capable to handle them. So that's a danger. It's a real danger. And you got to think about these things. Um, 